I'm Allie. Today's Better Beater episode, we are going to go over what it means on wire when you see something labeled as hard, half hard, soft, or maybe even dead soft. Those are indicators for what wire you would want to use for which projects because it's going to be the different malleabilities and the different ways the wire bends. When purchasing wire, you may often see a description on the packaging that says soft, dead soft, half hard, and then the shape of the wire, whether or not it's round, square, twisted. And what does that mean? So I've had a bunch of people in our Facebook group, as well as some people call and question, what is that dead soft wire mean? When you see that hard, half hard, soft, dead soft indication on the wire, that has to do with the temperature to which the wire was pulled and treated. The higher the temperature, the stiffer the wire is going to get. Dead soft wire refers to wire that you can easily take, you know, your round nose pliers and you can bend with very little effort. Going in here and you know, making coils and just bending and twisting and it's going to bend really, really easily and with its dead soft nature, you can also usually pull that bend apart a little bit. So if I'm thinking about doing a ring, say, what wire do I want? Do I want dead soft or do I want a stiffer wire, maybe a half hard wire? Generally speaking, when you're talking about wire in the form of a gauge, so if I'm talking about wire that's anywhere, you know, from a 32 gauge or a thicker 16 gauge even, I'm looking at what I'm going to be doing with the wire to answer that question. For me, it's always really nice if I have an option, I go with soft. I can always harden or strengthen the wire after I make something by adding some tension on it or friction on it by pounding and using a hammer and a mallet. What I was saying about the wire being soft versus hard wire or half hard wire, which is more likely usually the half hard or the soft wire option, is that as they're pulling the wire, they heat the wire up and how high they heat the wire and how quickly it cools and everything is going to determine how easily the wire bends. That is going to be, for most wire, soft wire. When you're talking hard wire, you're going to be thinking about wire that is a clasp or if a toggle. Most other wires that you come across, head pins, uh, ear wires, they're going to be half hard rather than the full on soft or hard. So when I look at wire that is a half hard wire rather than something that is soft, it's going to be a little bit harder to bend. So when I go in here and I twist, I'm going to notice a little bit more tension and a little bit more resistance in that bend as I'm twisting it. The nice thing about that, say this head pin, which often head pins aren't labeled, but they're going to be half hard, is that this head pin then is going to be less likely to open. Generally speaking, when it comes to sterling wire, sterling head pins, sterling ear wires, those are going to be on the softer side. Naturally, sterling silver, because it has more of the pure silver in it, is going to be a softer metal than, say, a plated or a copper base. Usually, copper also is going to be very, very easy to bend. If you're looking and you're getting brass, that's going to be a little bit more brittle, just the nature of the material and the metal itself. So that you're going to look at as half hard. When I'm thinking about my ear wires, ear wires like this, they're going to be hard. They don't bend. They don't, you know, open up very easily. That's going to be a hard wire that was based into the form. When you're looking at Potomac's wire, the Potomac's wire, the Potomac wire is going to be that soft wire. So why do we choose soft wire? Again, I can always strengthen that. So I can go in with a hammer and a mallet and I can kind of pound against this. Think about, you know, that scene in a Disney movie where somebody is pounding a sword in the stone, they're making that sword, you know, and pounding the wire. And that's going to make the heart wire harder. As you work with the wire, even if it's soft wire, your hands create natural body heat, which is going to heat up the wire as you're working with it if you're touching the wire constantly. Generally speaking, the soft wire, as you're working with it, is going to get harder and harder. That soft wire then almost naturally transitions into a half hard wire as you have that bend. If I have my wire here and I decide I want to make an ear wire and I don't want it to open up a lot, just a real simple ear wire, so we'll just do a 
simple turn here. Do my round loop, grab something about the ear wire shape, two of beads here. I'm gonna bend my wire around. See how easy that was? I could bend it around that tube nice and easy. Twist that ear wire to the front. See how easily that bends? I can do this and manipulate this all with my hands. And then again, if I wanna stiffen it up a little bit, I'm gonna take that hammer and mallet and stiffen that ear wire up, pounding on wherever I have that turn. After time, using, wearing, having that heat in your ear, as you work more with the wire, it's going to change it from that soft status to that half hard. So it might not be half hard right away after you make a simple ear wire, but as you work with it, you heat it in your hands, especially if you pound it, it's going to turn into that half hard. You'll notice the resistance in the bend. As you have wire that has been around a little bit longer, you've worn it, it's been in your ear, that natural progression of warming up cooling down, warming up, cooling down is going to strengthen and harden the wire as well. So in my opinion, if I had to say, what wire do you wanna start out with? It's always easiest, especially if you're not used to wire working and hand strength, to start out with soft wire. You can always, again, pound it, uh, work with it a lot, go in and create that resistance and kind of make it and turn it into that half hard status. When you're looking at head pins, ear wires, those are already gonna be that half hard. If you find a wire that is labeled hard, just make sure you realize it is not going to want to bend. So you're always gonna look for that dead soft or that soft or that half hard. Dead soft and soft are gonna be used interchangeably. Sometimes that dead word is left off. Most of the time it's kept as well. Usually with the options of wire, when you're looking at a craft wire or a German style wire, the German style wire is gonna be a little bit harder. Um, a craft wire is usually a little bit softer. So if you're going to a craft store, you're looking at options and you see the German style wire. German style generally means that it's gonna be a little bit more on the half hard side. And then the floral wire, any sort of craft wire is usually on that softer side when you're working with it. Just that word to the wise, if you're getting ready to go in and use wire that is brass, make sure that you realize that it is brittle. Most wires you'll have, let's see what we have here on our bend. Most wires you have about a three to six bend break. So see how I was able to bend that? With a brittle wire, usually I'll go one way, go another way, and it'll snap, so just be aware of that. Soft wire, generally speaking, you can bend a couple more times, especially if you're going with a thinner gauge wire. You're doing a lot of weaving, you're doing a lot of wrapping. I would always look for a soft wire because that really, really, you are going to notice that. And generally speaking, with a thinner gauge wire, you're using that really thin wire because you need small holes or you're doing something that has a lot of bending and twisting that is involved. So check out soft wire for this. So our Better Beater episodes are always made to help give you a little bit more information and make you more educated about the craft that you love. Remember, if you haven't already, go ahead and click on the box to subscribe so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beats. If this is your first Better Beater episode that you're checking out, go ahead and check out the hundreds others uh, that you can check out and learn lots of different skills, terminology, questions can be answered, design ideas are given, and we basically unwrap and unbox thinking of kind of that beating for dummies idea. Remember, again, you can always comment below, help out the rest of the Potomac Beaters, give your advice for strengthening wire, hardening wire, what you pick, why you pick. We would love to see all of that feedback as well. As always, thanks so much for watching. Happy beating, everyone, and continue on and check out the next wire working video.